In this video, we'll see one more example related to for loop. Now, what in this for loop, I'll show you. I want to display all the numbers in column A, that is 1 to 56. And in the second column, in the B column, what I want is I want to display different 56 colors. If you remember, there are different 56 colors, color index 1 to 56 in the background color I can insert. So first column, I'll insert all the numbers 1 to 56. Second column, all the different types of 56 colors. So let us see that. Now, I'll go to developer tab, click on this visual basic and in the for loop, I've already written two times this different code here. I'll just copy paste. I'll not write it again. Okay, I'll just copy paste the same code here. I'll select this control C and then I'll paste control V. Okay, so I'll just go down so that you can see that now. Yeah. Yeah. So here what I'll do is instead of this for loop 2, I'll put as for loop 3 because I cannot have the same macro of the same name. Okay, so that is for loop 3 and what I'll do is I'll change this value here. I don't want as step 3. I just remove this step here. Okay. And from here, what I'll do is I'll remove the sentence. So that's a blank for loop where there's nothing given here. What I want is I want numbers from x equal to 1 to 56. So I'll change it to 56 here. Okay. Now, second thing is in column A, I want numbers from 1 to 56. So please see here cells x comma 1 dot value equal to x. If I say 1 comma 1, 2 comma 1, 3 comma 1 till how much 56 comma 1 and the value will keep on changing. I'll just click on this run button and I'll show you the numbers are here from 1 to I'll just go here 56. If you see the row number 56, so it's working fine. Now in the second column, I want the background color. If you remember interior dot color, that was the method you can write. So I'll just open this and here I'll add one more sentence. Cells x comma 1 dot interior dot color index equal to x. Okay, so what will happen now? I'll just delete it and I can show you what is happening here. Control shift down arrow key delete. Okay, and I can just execute that one by one. So I can show you what is happening here. Click on the step into step into step into step into. Yeah, so you see one value and second color index x comma one color index will be as equal to one for the first time. If you see that's a value here. Now I don't want in the same cell. I want in the second cell. That's a mistake. So I'll just put as two here. Okay, so now I'll go for the step into step into step into now you see the second color should come here now this is a white color if you see the borders have been removed that's a white color again if i click on step into step into you see third color fourth color fifth color and so on so this way i'm changing it for the first column x comma one that is the value i'm giving x comma two second column i want the colors so if i click on step into you see it's coming here one by one now if i click on this run button i'll get all the colors okay i've clicked on this run button this button run button and if you see all the 56 different types of background colors I can see in my place, right? The very first color white didn't show in the first second column because I didn't change the value there. Okay. So the value earlier I've kept as here also X comma one. So therefore it showed me the black color. Now, if you execute this again, if I keep my cursor again, and if I click on this run button, if you see the black color has come here already now, right? So it's working fine. So this is very good example. If you want to insert different types of numbers, and also if you want to insert the different types of color index at the background, you can use this for, for loop itself. It's very simple and easy part, right? So I hope you have understood. That's all for this video.